from ABC News Headquarters. This is ABC World News with Diane Sawyer. Good evening. Tonight we begin with an ABC News exclusive investigation and indictment of what the U.S. government does to some of the most vulnerable children in this country. We have spent a year investigating a horrible secret. Tens of thousands of foster care children, even infants, given powerful mind-altering drugs that at times in doses and combinations considered too risky even for adults. And remember this statistic, foster children are given these potent drugs at an alarming 13 times the rate of other children. Tomorrow, a government GAO report will paint a portrait of a grotesque failure to protect foster children. But over the past years, so many of them have come forward to us to tell us about their lives, young kids living sometimes as sleepwalkers, sometimes reeling out of control. These are the meds that I've been taking since I was four. One, two, three, 11, 12, 13. Lexapro, the last one is Abilify. All their medications, they made me feel as if I had a thousand bricks on my head. They are tiny witnesses who came out of the shadows to tell and show us the mountain of potent drugs, antidepressants, antipsychotic drugs they were given in America's foster care system. I was just a zombie. Keep in mind, these are children who've already been dealt a hand from hell in homes of neglect and abuse bounced from foster home to foster home. I were in 28 homes. I felt sad because no one would keep me or love me. Consider the case of seven-year-old Brooke taken from a drug-addicted mother, just 43 pounds, but given five mind-altering drugs at the same time, a combination that is deemed too risky even for adults. Brooke, you need to get down. Come here, Brooke. And foster parents who want to help soon learn that if they don't give medications, the child can be taken away. We were told to put our faith in a system, and that's what we did. No one said the medications could be causing the problem. They kept saying she needs more medications. But in Brooke's case, one doctor, a psychiatrist, recognized the problem. And Brooke went from this being weaned off the strongest medications to this. No adult should be receiving the, the drugs uh, that that different uh, variety, but certainly not at these ages. Delaware Senator Tom Carper is holding a congressional hearing tomorrow, demanding changes in the foster care system in this country. Parallel to the year-long ABC News investigation, the GAO report, which found in some cases, psychotropic drugs were given to infants, even though there is no idea what the long-term effects of these drugs could be on a child's developing brain. And the report found in five states alone out of 100,000 foster kids, 26,000 were on some form of psychotropic drugs. How is it happening? When you don't have the time, the quick rush to judgment is the answer is a pill. Michael Perino, prominent child advocate, says these children are issuing a cry for help. When we read that foster kids are medicated up to 13 times more than other kids, is it because they're, they are a more troubled population? They are troubled, yeah. There is no question that foster kids can be troubled, very troubled. Given what they've gone through, the answer isn't to always try to change their brain chemistry. Medications that can keep a child from his life. Look at 11-year-old Chianti, prescribed 12 medications over the course of four years for conditions doctors now say he didn't have. I'm not ADHD, I'm just naughty. I am not bipolar at all. This is footage of Chianti trying to come off these medications. And this is Chianti today. He's in honors classes at school, and he got one prescription that heals beyond imagining. Chianti has been adopted. Now you're part of the family. <laughs> Which takes us back to Brooke. Remember her? She too has a permanent hug, a mom, a dad, a home. Yeah, you hug all the anger out, right? She just hugs and hugs and hugs and gets all the anger out. 